Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Anna and this is where fitness meets balance. I'm currently sitting on the floor in my room. Just wanted to try a different filming place. I'm here with Allie, one of my dogs. And today I'm going to do a little q and I polled you guys on my Instagram and I'm going to be answering the questions that y'all put in there today. So let's get started. Let's see, what is your favorite form of cardio? I don't do cardio. I walk every day. I would say walking is my cardio. Um, for class, for my work, I do teach some HIT classes and like I'll take my employees HIT class or Tabata interval training, um, like body weight boot camp is one of the classes that we're teaching right now because all of our classes are at home workouts live on Zoom. What was most challenging about 2020? Pretty sure like the entire year has been challenging for everybody. Um, one of the biggest adjustments was working from home full time. So I've been working from home since March and for about five and a half, six months, I had my three year old son Ryder staying with me. He wasn't at daycare. So I was trying to work full time and be basically a full time stay at home mom. And I'll tell you, neither of the jobs are easy, but like combining the two was just a double whammy. And then I got pregnant. Um, I am, let's see, you can see my belly. I am eight months pregnant, so I'm 34 weeks pregnant. And I was really, really sick in the beginning, and that was when I was working from home. I had Ryder with me. I was just so exhausted. I had the worst morning sickness. Um, so those would be my biggest challenges. Also, just this pregnancy has been really, really difficult on me. I've been dealing with depression and anxiety, and that has been onset through this pregnancy. I'm sure 2020 doesn't help. Um, it is called perinatal perinatal depression so that is when you have depression onset during pregnancy so i have been struggling with that on top of just fatigue i also found out that i have some thyroid issues can you see this tail <laughs> let me know in the comments down below if you struggle with mental health issues anxiety depression anything related i would love to do a video on that and share a little bit more if you guys are interested I know that a lot of people struggle with that so um, also that does lead me into my next question which I saw popped up earlier that said have you taken meds for your anxiety slash mental health issues uh, this year yes I actually recently started taking medication always always talk with your um you know providers don't take advice from people on youtube you got to do what's best for you um i take a very low dose of an antidepressant uh it's called sertraline it's also an anti-anxiety medication commonly known as zoloft so i take that i would also say of course do your best to um treat your symptoms naturally if you can but sometimes we need a little extra help and there is no harm in that you cannot be the best version of you if you are chronically depressed and you can't get out of bed and you don't want to do the things that you enjoy doing you don't want to take care of yourself you can't be a good mom you can't be a good friend or a good employee if you are not taking care of yourself first so by all means do what you got to do no judgment no shame Let's see. Best part of your job. The best part of my job, I would say, is group exercise. That has been my favorite part of my job for a really long time now. So I actually work in corporate wellness, which means um, I work in a fitness center inside of a corporate office setting. I actually manage the fitness center that I work in. And it is open to employees only. And I love teaching group exercise. It is so motivating to myself and to others to be in that group environment. It's just really, really rewarding too. Uh, usually I don't like public speaking. I really love group exercise. That's the best part of my job. 
What is the most important thing you want people to know about you? I want people to know that I am not perfect. <laughs> and I think that goes without saying, but if you found me through Instagram, you might look at my feed and think that I am so-called perfect or that I have my life together. <laughs> and I don't, I can assure you, I do not. As I just got done talking about, I struggle with mental health issues. I struggle, I've struggled with eating disorders for a very long time. Um, yes, I do teach people how to exercise. I am an exercise physiologist. I have a bachelor's in exercise science. So I love to work out. That is my passion. That is my stress relief. That part, I will say, comes easy to me because I enjoy working out. Um, but sometimes I don't have motivation to do it. Sometimes I don't have motivation to eat right, eat healthy. Uh, that's something that I really struggle with is the food. I am really working on not using food as a coping mechanism for any stress or just negative feelings that I'm encountering. Also, I'm not a perfect mom or a perfect wife. My marriage has been through ups and downs. I won't even get into all of that right now. Um, right now, things are really good and I'm just thankful for that. And yeah, that's what I want people to know. What is your biggest pet peeve? I talked about this on my Instagram story the other day, and that would be clutter around my house. I actually put a poll up to see if clutter gives you guys anxiety, and it was like something astronomical, like 97% said yes. I feel so much anxiety from clutter in my house and just like seeing um, messes or like countertops being full and toys everywhere and just like can't see the floor and don't get me wrong we're not like hoarders or anything but especially when you have a toddler there's no such thing as like a clutter free zone even if you don't have a toddler though <laughs> it's it's still a struggle so clutter really actually gives me like physical anxiety i'll notice my jaw clenching my heart racing. I just can't like settle myself down. It, it almost just makes me feel like I have too much on my plate and I can't concentrate. So that's my biggest pet peeve. Does clutter give you anxiety? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm, I'm curious to know because I feel like it's very common. <laughs> Will you do anything different regarding the newborn stage this time? Yes. I am definitely not going to have such high expectations for breastfeeding like I did with Ryder. I went into it thinking I'm going to breastfeed for one year and it's going to be easy. Like that's what our bodies do is like we make milk and we feed our babies. No, that's not always true. Um, I had a really, really hard time nursing Ryder. We had a lot of health issues with him. He actually, we later found out at like five months old that he had a tongue and a lip tie, which was inhibiting him from opening his mouth all the way, from sticking his tongue out all the way, which was inhibiting him from nursing and eating. I won't get into that, but if you want to know about my struggles with that, let me know. I could make a video just on that alone. Um, he also had allergies. He was having just a lot of diaper issues, so to say, poopy issues, so to say. So I ended up having to cut out like almost everything from my diet to try and see if that would make his tummy issues resolve. And we ended up switching to a hypoallergenic formula at about like five and a half months with him. And honestly, I wish we would have done it sooner, but I was so dead set on nursing. I also actually exclusively pumped for about three months because he started refusing to take the breast so that was when we switched to a bottle and I would I was pumping I was just putting so much pressure on myself I wasn't producing much so I was power pumping there'd be times where I'd be sitting connected to my pump for over an hour and I would get like three ounces of milk and if any of you moms have ever been through that you just feel like such a failure you feel like 
why is my body not doing what it's supposed to be doing? But you know what? Like science has come as far as it has for a reason with formula. I truly believe fed is best. If you're able to successfully breastfeed, that is amazing. Like all the more power to you. But if you're not, there is nothing wrong with you. And I'm going to go into my uh, second child expectations with basically zero expectations for breastfeeding. I'm going to try it. If it works out great. If it doesn't, that's fine too. Also, with the second time around, I'm going to nap and rest more. I could like never allow myself to just chill really with my first born, but I realize now just how much napping is really one of the best forms of self-care because mama needs rest. And there is a reason why sleep deprivation is used as like a torture tactic for some people. And who knows where weird places if you are a pow maybe i don't know anyways there's a reason why and that's because your body needs sleep and i know i'm going to be very very sleep deprived and exhausted especially chasing after a toddler and having a newborn so nap more this is your permission to nap more <coughs> tips on keeping marriage fun this is a hard one. As I mentioned earlier, my marriage has struggled before. Marriage is not easy. People used to tell me that all the time, like marriage is hard. And I honestly never really believed that until I actually went through it. And it's hard because eventually when you're with somebody for so long, you tend to maybe take them for granted. And I'm speaking very generally, this isn't true for everybody but you you don't do the things that you used to do so something that you should do and we hear this all the time is like keep dating your spouse you keep flirting with your spouse do the things that you used to do in the beginning when you guys were in that you know beginning stages with butterflies and the honeymoon phase um i having children can definitely put a damper on your relationship but i think it's so important to remember that like one day your children are going to be out of the house and it's going to be just you and your spouse again and if you don't put any effort into your marriage then you're going to have this empty relationship once your children are gone something else that you could do to keep things fun would be learn something new learn a new hobby with your spouse I know it's difficult right now with COVID and, you know, not a lot of places being open depending on where you live, but even just like cooking classes, I've always wanted to do that or a pottery class, something maybe that your spouse likes to do that you're not super into, try to show some interest in it. Um, another thing too, that really helps to keep the spark alive and keep the connection there is to witness your spouse doing something that they're very passionate about. So like for instance, Guy, that's my husband, if he could occasionally he'll like listen in on me teaching class in my basement right now and he never used to get to see me teach before because where I work on site is not open to the public like so it's just open to employees so he gets to see what I do for work and what I'm really passionate about and something about that he just like really loves seeing me light up and seeing me like present my gift I guess I guess to other people so try those things let me know in the comments what you do to keep your relationship fun to keep the spark alive let me know I'm curious Favorite way to spend you time? I love this question. Lift weights. <laughs> that is my go-to form of exercise is working out, lifting weights. You probably could have guessed that. But I also love to go for walks. I try to go for a walk every single day uh, if I can. I also love to take naps. I talked about that. Napping is one of my favorite things. <laughs> that makes me think of a meme that's <laughs> like... <laughs> Uh, things you hate when you're a kid, taking naps and getting spanked. Things you love when you're an adult, taking naps and getting spanked. 
<laughs> just saying. Um, also, I love to do my skincare. That is one of my favorite acts of self-care is doing my skincare in the morning and the evening. It just makes me feel so much better about myself. I'm actually dealing with some hormonal acne. I don't know if you can see some of my scars. And I'm wearing a little bit of makeup, so it's covered up somewhat, but I'm like obsessed with skincare and watching YouTube videos on skincare. So I'm always curious to know what works for you. If you have like a ride or die product, please let me know in the comments down below. Can we have a nursery tour? Yes, as soon as it's finished, it has boxes in it. I have like a month of pregnancy left and I really need to get on that. <laughs> Um, as soon as that's done, I'll, I'll give you a tour. Have y'all chosen a baby name? Will you be sharing before or after she's born? Yes, we have chosen a first name. We are still working on a, a second name, a middle name. And we're also trying to decide with the first name if we want it to be short for something or if we just want it to be the nickname so we've shared it with some of our closest friends and family but i'll probably not announce it until she's born mostly because we haven't fully decided <laughs> it starts with an a i'll give you a hint it starts with an a if you enjoyed this video please be sure to like it give it a thumbs up subscribe and stick around for my other videos let me know in the comments down below what other videos you would like to see from me if you have further questions for me too let's interact let's chat thanks and have a wonderful day